What a difference. What a difference. Somebody to work for and live for. And I will do just that. But I didn't want to come back so early. But my dearest Nora, no, you please, Nora, please, 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 I, oh, uh, you know our agreement. Come along into the room. No, 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 no. Just catch a cold standing there. Good evening. Christine. You here, uh, so late, Mrs. Lynn. Yes, I was so anxious to see Nora in her dress. Have you been sitting here waiting for me? Yes, unfortunately I came too late. You had already gone upstairs and I thought I couldn't leave without having seen you. Yes, take a good look at her. I think she is worth looking at. Isn't she charming, Mrs. Lind? Indeed she is. Doesn't she look remarkably pretty? Everyone thought so at the dance. But she is terribly self-willed, this little person. What are we to do with her? You will hardly believe I almost had to bring her away by force. Torvald, you will regret not having let me stay, even if it was for only a half an hour longer. <laughs> Listen to her, Mrs. Lind. She danced to Tarantella, which was a success which was a tremendous success, as it were, though the performance was possibly a trifle too realistic. A little more so, I mean, than was strictly compatible with the limitations of art. Oh, but never mind about that. The chief thing is she made a success. Do you think I was going to let her stay there after that and spoil the effect? No, indeed. I took my little Capri maiden, my capricious little Capri maiden, on my arm. One quick turn around the room, a curtsy on either side. And as they say in novels, the beautiful apparition disappeared. An exit ought always to be effective, Mrs. Lind, but that is what I cannot get Nora to understand. Whew, this room is hot. Hello? Excuse me. Well? Talked with him about the debt. Yes, and? Nora, you must tell your husband all about it. The forgery, every last detail is the only way. I knew it. Okay, you have nothing to be afraid of as far as Krogstead is concerned. But you must tell your husband the truth. I won't tell him. Then the letter will. Thank you, Christine. I know what I must do now. Well, Mrs. Lynn. Have you admired her? Yes, mm. I have. And now I must say good night. What? Already? Uh, is this yours? This oh. knitting? Oh, yes, it is. I almost forgot it. So you knit? Of course. <laughs> Do you know you really should embroider instead? Really? Why? It's far more becoming. Let me show you. You hold the embroidery in your left hand and use the needle with your right with a long, easy sweep. Do you see? Yes, perhaps. But in the case of knitting, that could be anything but graceful. The knitting needle goes up and down. It has a sort of Chinese effect. Ugh. Uh, good night. Mm. And Nora, don't be so self-willed anymore. That's right, Mrs. Lind. Hmm? I hope you will make it home all right. 
I'd be very happy to. But you haven't got very far to go. Good night. Oh, at last we've gotten rid of her. She is a horrible bore, that woman. Hmm. Aren't you very tired, Torvald? No, not in the least. <laughs> Nor sleepy? Not a bit. On the contrary, I feel extraordinarily lively. <laughs> and you, you look both tired and sleepy. Oh yes, I'm very tired. I'd like to go to sleep at once. You see there, it was quite right of me to not let you stay there any longer. <laughs> Everything you do is quite right, Torvald. Hmm. 